In Ayurveda, they give us three different doses. Do okay, let me start again. <laughs> In Ayurveda, they describe three different doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha. If I am a pitta person, how do I take care of myself? Good. Can we go back to what is the um, uh, what is the foundation of pitta? Pitta is a, a dominance of the air and water element. Uh, sorry, the fire and water element. Mm -hmm. And so, to understand the pitta person, again, we must understand the qualities of fire and water. Fire is very uh, sharp, penetrating, hot, um, and spreading. Water, we know, is also spreading, and water is uh, cool and liquid. Now, they're like two contradictory things to exist. Yeah, we have fire, which is very light and, and upward moving, and water, which is flowing and liquid. Uh, the reason is we cannot really have fire in the body as fire. Yeah, so it expre uh, with water, it gets into a kind of a, a medium which can, survive, can be okay in the body. So it represents all the chemical aspects of our being. All the chemistry in our body is taken care of by pitta dosha. Yeah, all our digestion is taking place because of pitta. So uh, the pitta personality will have the qualities of, I keep looking outside because I'm looking at the atmosphere. <laughs> um, they will have this um, overabundance of the heating energy of the sun, of fire. So we will find a pitta person uh, will have this fiery nature. They are very um, judgmental, argumentative, aggressive. Yeah, but this is the, um, the negative aspect of pitta. There's also a positive aspect of each one of these constitutions. So pitta people, when... Um, they be, when pitta is disturbed, it, ex, it expresses itself in these negative ways of anger, of, of bursts of being judgmental, of being critical, of being aggressive. But then pitta also have a very um, another side. The balanced pitta person has a great um, ability for comprehension. Their clarity of mind can be very great because fire illumines. Yeah, the sun illumines the fire. Because of that, it reveals knowledge. It's very revealing. And so, pitta people can grasp something. They can see something very clearly, very quickly. And for this, they can become very impatient with other people. They can't understand why other people can't understand what they're seeing. And so, this gives rise to their, their impatient and their explosive nature. <laughs> so even though they're blessed with amazing good, good comprehension, they also need the other balancing aspect of being patient and understanding. And um, a balanced pitta person will have this. They'll be able to comprehend and see very far, but and at the same time they'll be able to understand and have compassion. So pitta people need to develop compassion. This is one of the qualities they really need to develop, and so they can manage that fiery aspect of their being. Now, because of this fiery nature, pitta people need to stay away from fiery situations, fiery environments, fiery relationships. For instance, if a pitta person stands out in this hot midday sun for a long time, they will develop um, uh, rashes and highs and headaches. They may even faint because too, the pitta is becoming imbalanced. Too much is coming to them. So they need to be. They need to balance with cooling stuff. Wear a hat. Use an umbrella. Sit in the shade. Also with their diet. If pitta people um, eat a lot of chilies, yeah, hot spicy foods, they cause an imbalance. They need more cooling foods, cooling spices, yogurt, coconut water, coconut jelly, coriander. <laughs> Yeah, green um, foods, these are very balancing for pitta people, it calms the pitta down. You know, when you think of a raging fire, um, what do you bring to it to make it uh, pleasant? We don't want to put it out, but we want to make it bearable and um, a good instrument for us to function. 
So we have to bring all these cooling therapies. Again, too, when the, yoga, when the Pitta person is practicing their yoga, they need to be aware that competition should be put aside because Pitta people are very competitive by nature. But when they go on the yoga mat, they must realize now it's a different time. I must give up that egocentric way of looking at things. I need not look at my neighbor and see how far they're going and be challenged by them. I need to simply close my eyes, turn inside, and follow that, follow the breath and follow the movements like this. So it becomes a more meditative practice, not a competitive one. And this is really very important for Pitta people. And the same thing with the meditation, or meditation to be more um, very devotional and, and um, compassionate. Yeah, the light of wisdom is there, but it must have a very compassionate slant to it. Yeah, the, 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 the light of knowledge that comes from Saraswati, that comes from uh, Lord Krishna, is very soothing, full of love. That's the kind of light they need to meditate on. It's also um, prescribed, uh, like a pitta person using a, a flame to, uh, most of us, you know, we always like to use, have a light when we're meditating, like a candle flame or something. For pitta people, it's really, would be wonderful if instead of just a regular candle, they can use um, a ghee lamp, because ghee is very soothing and very pacifying to pitta. So those are some of the things we can, um, Think about for a bit of balancing. <laughs>